So there's always some software under test. And this might be something huge like the Linux kernel. It might be something really small, like a new square root function that we wrote. But in any case, what we want to be able to do is draw a box around the software that we're testing. Now in general, the reason that we implemented the software is to provide some sort of a service that we're going to use in other software or that we're going to provide to a user. And what that means is the software under test is providing some set of APIs that just stands for Application Programming Interfaces. And all this means is the software under test is going to provide a set of function calls that can be called by other software. And of course, that's what we want to be testing. So for the next little while, let's assume a really simple piece of software under test. Let's assume that it's just a square root routine that we have implemented, and we want to make sure that it works. So to test this code, all we're going to need to do is pass values into the software. So here we're calling square root routine with 9 as an input, and see what it returns, see if it returns the thing that we expected. So let's just take a quick quiz here. If I call a square root routine, and here let's, um, let's assume that we're not talking about the Python square root. We're just talking about a general square root function that we're implementing for some hypothetical piece of software. So we invoke the square root routine with 9, and what's, what should it return? So here we're going to make a multiple choice exam, and you should enter into the text box all of the examples, all of, all of the answers that apply. So answer A is 3, answer B is minus 3. And go ahead and please write your answer in the text box.